everyone, my name is Emily. I'm from The Culture Project, and today we're going to talk about being on the same page as your significant other, especially when it comes to chastity. When I was in high school, there was a guy who was, who was interested in me, and I remember I had learned about the virtue of chastity and was trying to live that out. And so we had a conversation once and I said, you know, I'm never going to do anything with you in regards to physical things, right, or sexual things. And I remember his response in the moment was, oh, I would never want to make you do anything you are not comfortable doing. Now that sounded nice at the time, right, and I commend him for not wanting to pressure me into anything or not, you know, running away from me because of what I said. But the truth is, is once you get into relationships and, and your, your desires for each other, your love for each other starts growing, it becomes harder and harder to live out chastity. So I oftentimes wonder if we had developed a deeper relationship, or if we had gone longer in our, in our relationship, had there been a time where I felt less strong in, in regards to chastity, maybe we would have fallen more because of not being on the same page. And so that's why I think it's incredibly important to be on the same page as your significant other. Right, because there's a difference in somebody who says, I wouldn't want to make you do what you're uncomfortable doing, and somebody who says, I respect you and myself enough to never want to do that with you outside of marriage or out of the proper context. And this is something that, that has carried me and, and I've seen in, in a lot of relationships following, is making sure that we're on the same page making sure that we set the same boundaries and we have the same expectations when it comes to physical boundaries or, or what, what maybe arouses us more, right? And, you know, it's not like everything's always going to be perfect after that, right? So maybe you even are on the same page as your significant other in, in wanting to live out chastity and wanting to be pure in your relationship. But sometimes, you know, we fall. And the beauty of being on the same page is you're able to take a step back and to really re-evaluate together and work together to live more purely and, and to change things up, right? So it's so important to be on the same page as our significant others and to find somebody who respects what you say, who not only respects what you want, but also wants it too and wants to support you in that and to lead you to living a more chaste life. So if you're in a relationship or next time you're in a relationship, make sure you find somebody who not only respects you, but also respects themselves and wants holiness and purity for themselves, not just something that you want. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking right up here and watch more videos by clicking here. And also go to our Facebook and Instagram and even TikTok pages to follow us. And if you want more resources, want to see videos or blogs about these things, go to our website, which is www.thecultureproject.org. Thank you guys so much.